can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this circle, so let's draw its diameter. And let's draw another chord. Now this angle right over here, simply equivalent to 30 degrees. And this segment is just one unit. This other segment is two units. And this segment is x. Now the question is what is the length of segment x? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in three. Two, one. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the length of this segment, x. And to answer this kind of question, of course, is to use the given information. Now, from the center of this circle, we know the length of this segment is 1 and the length of this segment is 2. Therefore, the radius of this circle is simply equivalent to 3 units. Now, if this segment is x, so let's call the other segment, this length, be equal to y. Because what we're going to do is to use one theorem, and that is the intersecting chords theorem. So it says, if two chords intersect within a circle, then the product of the lengths of the parts of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the parts of the other chord. Or in this figure, we can say that a times b equals c times d. Now, in our figure, with respect to our figure, we can say that x times y is equivalent to 1 times 2 plus 3 or 5. It follows that x times y simply equivalent to 5. So the product of x and y simply equal to 5. Now, let's set aside this result. And now, we will use again another theorem. And that theorem is, it says that the perpendicular from the center of the circle to a chord bisect the chord so from the center of the circle let's draw a perpendicular segment to the chord that bisects this chord in short this segment right over here is half of x plus y or simply x plus y over 2 now from here let's focus on this right triangle in the middle part we know the hypotenuse is 2 and this is a 30, 16, 90 right triangle. So if the hypotenuse is 2, the length of the side opposite of 30 degrees is half of the hypotenuse or simply half of 2 is 1. And the opposite side of the angle 60 degrees is 1 times square root of 3 or simply square root of 3. Now this segment is square root of 3. But we can rewrite also this segment in terms of x and y. This is just half of x plus y minus this x or simply x plus y over 2 minus x now take note x plus y over 2 minus x is the same thing as square root of 3 so we can equate them and now to have to eliminate this 2 on the denominator let's multiply all this term by 2 so we have x plus y minus 2x equals 2 times root 3 now combine like terms we have y minus x equals 2 times root 3. Solve for y in terms of x, y equals x plus 2 times root 3. And using these two results, we have two equations in terms of x and y, so definitely we can also solve for the value of x. And to get the value of x, let's get this equation, x, y equals 5, and replace this y with its equivalent, x plus 2 times root 3 because in this equation, we want the value of x, not the value of y. So to get the value of x, we need to solve this quadratic equation. So let's distribute this x, x squared plus 2 times root 3 times x equals 5. Rearrange some terms a little bit and we have here a quadratic equation in terms of x. Now, we will solve for the value of x but Instead of using the quadratic formula, we will use what we call the Poisson Law approach or the Poisson Law method. And here how it works. So what we need is the sum of the roots of this quadratic form equation, which is negative 2 times root 3. And the product of the roots of this quadratic equation is negative 5. Now we need u such that negative square root of 3 or half of the sum negative square root of 3 plus u 
and negative square root of 3 minus u will give the product negative 5. By the way, negative 3 plus u and negative 3 minus u are our x values. So we have x of 1 and x of 2. So those are the roots of this quadratic equation. And how to solve for the value of u. So here we go. The product of negative square root of 3 plus u and negative square root of 3 minus u equals negative 5. This is difference of 2 squared. So this simplifies to 3 minus u squared equals negative 5. Rearrange sometimes a little bit. We have 3 plus 5 equals u squared. 3 plus 5 is 8. And if we get the square root on both sides, we get that u is equivalent to positive or negative 2 times square root of 2. Now, if u is positive or negative 2 plus square root of 2, so we have the values of x as negative 3 plus or minus 2 times square root of 2. So this is Potion Law method works. So if you use quadratic formula, of course, you will get the same thing. Now, going back to our figure, take note that x here is a side length. Therefore, this x cannot be a negative number. Thus, we disregard this negative value for x. Therefore, x is just negative square root of 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, Given this figure, then the value of x simply equivalent to negative 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. And as always, we are done.